poison paint, leaky lavatories, unlicensed additions, and half-finished houses. What gets left behind when home renovation shows don't follow through? Appearing on an HGTV renovation show and seeing the home of your dreams revealed in the finale isn't always the fairy tale it seems to be. Not everything goes as planned, so it's just a huge, huge letdown. Anna and James Morrissey were sold a $1.36 million home in Illinois as part of their appearance on the first season of Windy City Rehab in 2019. Host Allison Victoria and Donovan Eckhart renovated the home and all seemed well, until the camera stopped rolling. The Morrisseys filed suit at the end of 2019 for fraud, claiming the home suffered leaks from the windows, walls, and ceilings, including an upstairs shower that leaked into the kitchen. The couple also claimed there were issues with the front door, garage, and exterior masonry. Both parties have remained fairly quiet about it, but a statement issued by Alice and Victoria read, "...from the beginning, it was my intention to design a great house in a great neighborhood. Fortunately, all issues involved in the litigation are settled." It wouldn't be the last time the stars of the show ran into trouble. Another lawsuit was filed against the couple in 2020, this time by former friends of Eckhart. The Ward family had invested $3 million in Alavan Ward LLC, which funded seven of the HGTV show's renovations. The suit claims the Windy City rehab star showed sheer ineptitude and gross mismanagement, including the absence of workmanlike standards and adherence to building codes that marred nearly every Alavan Ward project they were associated with. The Wards say they only discovered the HGTV star's lack of skills after watching the show. Allison Victoria has attempted to shift the blame to her co-host, stating she was only the designer and had little to do with Eckhart's contracting standards. The claim also mentioned that many of the properties the Wards had invested in were left with serious construction issues, resulting in thousands of dollars in repairs. All of this may be a major factor as to why the show is no longer on the air. The HGTV home renovation show Fixer to Fabulous follows Dave and Jenny Mars as they fix up historic properties in Bentonville, Arkansas. One such property belonged to Dana and Tyler Craddock, who were approached by Mars Developing and Mars Construction back in 2018 to appear on the show, with the offer to renovate their home. The couple agreed, but as it turned out, neither the host nor the Mars companies had obtained the proper Arkansas licenses or permits before they began work on the home. Not only were several unauthorized changes made, but the home wasn't up to code by the end of the renovation, as official inspectors hadn't been brought in to ensure work had been done safely. The Craddocks reached out to the Mars' companies, informing them of their concerns, but they were left waiting for two years in hopes that the situation would be remedied. Eventually, in 2021, they filed suit against the HGTV stars and have requested at least $75,000 in compensation. John Culinary and Anthony Carino were the stars of the short-lived HGTV renovation show Kitchen Cousins, in which the duo constructed dream kitchens with their family construction company Brunelleschi Construction. When they began a kitchen remodel for Robert and Peng Avery in 2013, the cousins had no clue it would be their ultimate downfall. The Averys paid $211,000 to have the construction company renovate their New Jersey property, but what they were left with was far from a dream home. From delays in ordering parts, unjust charges, and false claims that the project had been completed and passed inspections, the entire renovation was a complete hassle for the couple. They filed a lawsuit against the HGTV star's company for fraud, breach of contract, negligence, as well as other claims once the renovation was completely abandoned and left in a disastrous state. The Averys weren't able to occupy the home following the shoddy job, which left their plumbing, doors, and ductwork improperly installed. The Averys were awarded $857,894 in the suit, leading the Kitchen Cousins host to file for bankruptcy. Although it's unclear what led the HGTV star's company to provide such a botched renovation, what is clear is that the Kitchen Cousins should probably keep their work to the room of the house they know best. Two Chicks and a Hammer was founded by Karen E. Lane and Mina Starsiak-Hawk, who you might know as the stars of HGTV's Good Bones. The mother-daughter duo co-hosts the show and have shown their skills in renovating and flipping Indianapolis properties for a profit. But like many HGTV renovation stars, they were bound to make a few mistakes here and there. Two Chicks and a Hammer was sued in 2017 by the Environmental Protection Agency for the renovations they did on three homes that had been built before lead paint use had been discontinued in 1978. Due to the health dangers of lead, there are specific laws and regulations required when handling it. And unfortunately for Lane and Hawk, their company wasn't certified to do the work, and they had failed to transport and dispose of the waste properly. This isn't a rare case. Chip and Joanna Gaines of Fixer Upper were slapped with the same thing after dealing with a lead paint riddled home in 2018. The suit between the Goodbone stars and the EPA has since been settled, resulting in the duo having to pay a $40,000 fine and producing a video that demonstrates the proper procedure when renovating a lead paint based home, and another that focuses on protecting children from lead paint. That's a situation.
That wasn't it for them, though. The co-hosts were hired to build a garage, fencing, and driveway for a home, but were sued in 2016 by a neighbor of the client for damage and trespassing. While the specific charges have remained relatively private, it's known that the plaintiff claims the work resulted in two chicks and a hammer damaging and destructing during their process. According to Radar, the homeowner who ordered the construction countersued the neighbor, stating that the HGTV stars were required to defend him in all related legal disputes as part of his contract. After the difficult lawsuits Lane and Hawk have faced, it seems that their money is drying up. In 2022, Hawk took to her Instagram story, revealing that she's now broke, requesting support from her fans as she prepared to battle yet another lawsuit, saying, "...just got served by the GC from Risky Business, suing us for payment. Any attorney fans out there licensed in Indiana willing to fight this for us? Cause we broke." 